Walter Dean Myers was born Walter Milton Myers in August of 1937 in Martinsburg, West Virginia. However, at the young age of two, his birth mother passed away and his birth father arranged for him to be adopted by his ex-wife, Florence, and her husband, Herbert Dean. Hence, his name changed to Walter Dean Myers. His new parents loved him unconditionally and exposed him to the beauties of Harlem. Growing up did not come without problems, though. He was teased a lot because he had a speech impediment, which led to many fights. And although he was smart, he struggled academically. He found comfort, though, in books because they took him to places outside of his environment as a way to deal with his worldly problems like murder, alcoholism and grief. He ultimately dropped out of high school and joined the army at 17, but he chose to follow the advice of one of his high school English teachers who recognized his talent as a writer. She told him to never stop writing, no matter what. And he remembered her advice. And as he continued to struggle throughout his young life, he wrote for tabloids and magazines. What changed the trajectory of his writing career, though, was a poignant short story he read entitled Sonny's Blues, written by James Baldwin, about the black urban experience. It gave him permission to write about his own experiences. His first published book, Where Does the Day Go?, won a contest for black writers by the Council of Interracial Books for Children in 1967 and was published in 1968. After that, his writing career blossomed. Some of his most popular books include Hoops, Monster, Fallen Angel, Slam, and Bad Boy. Walters ultimately wrote over a hundred young adult books in his lifetime in various genres, picture books, poetry, short stories, novels, memoirs, and history. His truth about his turbulent life as a black boy in America is peppered throughout all of them. He also received a number of prestigious literary honors and awards for his works, some of which include the Margaret A. Edwards Award for Lifetime Achievement, the Coretta Scott King Virginia Hamilton Award for Lifetime Achievement, and he was named National Ambassador for Young People's Literature by the Library of Congress. Myers died at the age of 76 in July of 2014, but his books continue to inspire young adults and represent must-read canons of great, great literature.